Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the DCOM error message 1084 when attempting to start the services on your Windows 11 computer. So this tutorial will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well, such as Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. But this tutorial is being performed on a Windows 11 machine today. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward resolution. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in Device Manager. Best match to come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on the Display Adapter section. And then right click on the Display Adapter listed under here. And select where it says Uninstall Device. Select Uninstall. Give it a moment here. And now you want to go ahead and restart your computer, and then Windows should automatically either download the driver once the computer is being restarted, and ba basically we'll just reinstall it, or we can also check for updates once our computer is booted back up into Windows here. So in our case, it automatically re-downloaded the display driver. But in your case, you may want to go into the search menu and type in update. Go underneath settings here. That's one option on how to go to Windows Update. And go down to Windows Update on the left panel. And then go and select Advanced Options. And select where it says Optional Updates underneath Additional Options. So close to the bottom of this page here. And if there's any updates available, go ahead and download and install. Something else we can try here as well is to run a system file checker utility scan. So that would entail going back to the search menu, typing in CMD, best match, to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so you can see Windows Resource Protection did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. Now that your computer has restarted, hopefully you should have been able to resolve that DCOM error and you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.